If you have a professional selling plan, you can add products to your inventory in bulk using inventory files. These dynamically created files, also called custom templates or product feeds, can be catered to your inventory by selecting the relevant product types. If you have a large inventory, using inventory files can save you a lot of time by allowing you to manage your product listings in bulk, rather than one by one. After watching this video, you'll know how to generate the right inventory file for your products in Seller Central, correctly fill out your product information, and upload your inventory file to your Seller Central account. First, let's locate the inventory files for your products. Hover your mouse over the inventory portion of the menu in Seller Central. Then, from the drop down, select Add Products via Upload, and you'll be directed to your inventory file uploads. Next, click the Download an Inventory File tab. There are two ways to select the types of products you want to sell. You can use the Search tool or the Product Classifier. When using the Search function, make sure the result you select is in the appropriate classification path. To select it, click the plus sign on the left-hand side of the row. If you don't see what you're looking for, try hitting Clear Search and searching for another term, or try navigating through the options in Product Classifier. To use the Product Classifier, locate the specific product type by clicking through the Subtype options. Hitting Select will add the necessary information to your inventory file for listing that product type. To remove any product types, Simply go to the section summary of your selected products and click the X next to the product type you don't want. Next, you'll need to select a light, advanced, or custom template. Light templates are designed to be easier to navigate and contain the minimum information a seller would need to list a product. The advanced templates include all the possible attributes fields you might fill out for a product. Custom templates allow you to add the groups of attributes you want in addition to the minimum required. When you're ready, click Generate Template to download the inventory file. Let's take a look at an example using the light template for all plans under Kitchen and Dining. When you open the inventory file template in Microsoft Excel, you'll see the following tabs along the bottom of the workbook. Instructions, which details how to use the inventory file. Images, which outlines Amazon product image requirements. Data definitions which defines each attribute within the inventory file. Template, where you'll fill out your product information, an example template for extra guidance, and valid values, which includes a list of acceptable terms for filling out the template. When you enter your product information on the template tab, you can refer back to the data definitions tab for explanations of attributes, or the valid values tab for the list of acceptable terms you can enter. We'll click into the template tab to start. Notice the columns up top. Each column represents one data attribute for your product. For example, in column A, product type, you'll select the appropriate product type. In column G, product name, you'll type its name. Be sure not to edit those top three rows. If you change any of these labels, your file will not process properly. For every product you want to upload, fill out one row in the spreadsheet. You might be wondering which of these attributes are required. This is where the Data Definitions tab comes in handy. It lists each attribute name, its definition and use, acceptable values, an example, and whether it's required. Also, once you've selected the product type for your item, the sheet will highlight the required cells with a red outline. For some attributes, you'll need to choose from a specific list of values. To do so, Use the drop downs provided by the sheet. The drop downs will always be updated with the current valid values for each attribute. In case you need to see all the valid values at a glance, you can use the Valid Values tab. Only certain attributes require a valid value, so it's a good idea to double check your entries against this information while you get used to creating inventory files. Let's fill out an example product a stainless steel pan. Starting from left to right, we'll select our product type and then enter the SKU, followed by the product ID, in this case, a UPC code. Next, we'll enter our brand name, product name, and the item type keyword. If you need guidance on item type keywords, please refer to the Browse Tree Guide. 
Moving on, we'll enter our price and quantity. Shipping template, these are set up through the Shipping tab UI and then populated in your template. And finally, the main image URL. That's it! We've completed one product listing in our inventory file. Taking the time to fill out an inventory file for bulk product uploads up front can help you make quick changes to your products later on. For instance, let's say you decide to make a price change to your products. You can use this file again with your products already filled out. Simply update the prices, save the file, and re-upload to Seller Central. Make sure to always save a copy of your inventory file for your personal records. Now let's take a look at how to upload an inventory file in Seller Central. First, make sure your file is saved to your computer. Then, from the Seller Central home page, hover over the Inventory tab and choose Add Products via Upload. Click the Check and Upload Your Inventory file near the top. To upload your inventory file, scroll down to the Upload File section. Then choose your file type. In our example, we're using an inventory file for non-media categories. Next, click Choose File and find your inventory file on your computer. Every time you upload an inventory file, Amazon will provide you a processing report. You can select if you'd like to receive it in text or Excel format. You can provide your email address to be notified when the file is finished processing. From there, you can upload your file or use Check My File to identify any potential errors. File processing time varies depending on how many products you're uploading at once. Small files may load in minutes, while larger files greater than 5 megabytes may take up to 8 hours to process. You can check an upload's progress by clicking Monitor Upload Status. Each upload will be listed with an ID and will indicate when it's finished processing. Errors in your file will also be listed here. If you have any errors, you can check the processing report to see what you need to edit. Now that you're equipped with some basic knowledge on creating inventory files, be sure to watch our Using Inventory Files Advanced video for more tips on getting the most out of bulk uploads. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.